So Equalizer is an application which helps you change or enhance the overall audio profile. These could be used in enhancing the audio experience when it comes to listening to some music or watching any movie for that matter. This is pretty simple to do when it comes to mobile phones. You download a decent enough equalizer application, you make certain changes in the frequencies or, or you could go ahead uh, with certain presets, rock, pop, jazz, etc. And you're pretty much good to go. However, for Windows system, it's not so straightforward. So for all the people who actually consume their media primarily through uh, laptops uh, or PCs with Windows, what if you could enhance the overall audio experience uh, without actually degrading it or distorting it? So let's find out, shall we? Now to understand the beauty behind the technical aspect of any uh, sound enhancer or uh, equalizer application, let's try to understand the basics of sound first, okay? So the sound we hear is actually uh, measured in uh, amplitude and frequency. Now amplitude is the relative uh, strength of the audio, that is the loudness or the vo volume as we know it. And it is actually measured in decibels. Whereas the frequency is often termed as the pitch. Now this frequency is actually the number of times per second uh, it oscillates, the sound wave actually oscillates, that is uh, it repeats itself. The more the frequency, the more the oscillations, the lower the frequency, the lower the oscillations. Now frequency is measured in the term called Hertz. Now a normal human being is actually capable of uh, listening to sounds with frequencies ranging from 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. The sound spectrum above 20,000 hertz is termed as uh, ultrasound. And uh, fun fact, dogs are actually capable of tapping into ultrasound frequencies. Whereas the sound spectrum uh, below 20 hertz, uh, it's termed as infrasound. And elephants actually use infrasound to communicate with each other. Now this, the, the entire set of uh, frequencies between 20 Hz to 20,000 Hz is again broken down into several subsets with them being as follows. Subbase is actually the frequency which is more felt rather than it's heard. It's uh, these vibrations you feel when you listen to a track. Bass is actually the fatness or the thinness of the overall audio profile. Lower mid range is actually the frequency layer which adds the clarity to the bass itself. Midrange is how strong an instrument sounds in the overall uh, mix of audio. Higher midrange is the set of frequencies which is all about vocals. It's quite an important uh, frequency set uh, which needs to be fine-tuned really precisely. Presence defines the overall uh, quality of sound, the clarity of sound. Brilliance, as the name states, adds a certain la layer of brilliance and audio clarity to the overall audio signature. Now subjectively, these are again termed as the bass, that is the lows, the mids and the highs, that is the treble. What an equalizer does is it offers users with an option to change individual frequency values. So you could increase the overall bass to make the sound more boomy or you could enhance the vocals by increasing the mids. So that is how these uh, applications are very interesting and useful. But again, using these applications is not so straightforward. Fine tuning these frequencies is not an easy task until and un unless you're well versed with the frequencies you want to listen. You probably might end up uh, making the sound a little more uh, muddy or boomy. And you probably might end up messing up the equation between the vocals and the instruments in the overall audio mix. So the manual configuration part is is quite a task, it's, it's an issue and I think I found a perfect solution to tackle this issue. So what this audio driver audio enhancer application does is it and it installs an additional layer of audio driver over the default audio driver for Windows. So this causes some issues with uh, selecting the audio output device. Second issue which is the degraded audio. To increase the overall uh, sound experience, uh, what these uh, what uh, equalizer application does is it 
increases the frequency le le levels uh, indiscriminately and that is bound to of course uh, distort the audio so based on my experience i have shortlisted two applications which you could go ahead and try first one is the equalizer apo with piece interface this is an application which offers huge level of manual controls you it's it's great for the individuals who are well versed with the frequencies they desire to feel and experience well that was almost poetic uh, but uh, yeah while using uh, the equalizer apo application uh, two things stand out immediately the first one is uh, this actually needs two separate applications to be downloaded and installed so the first one is the equalizer apo once you are done installing that uh, you need to install the piece uh, interface as well now piece is piece is basically a gui for equalizer apo coming to the gui the second thing which immediately stands out is the outdated gui it reminds me of those wonderful times of windows 7 and xp so a lot of people might find the gui a little outdated uh, in 2022 but i'm i'm personally not uh, up for any gui as long as the application itself functions fine and boy does this application function it's pretty amazing the level of uh, manual control this application offers you not only get to tweak the predefined frequencies you also get the option to change the frequency values themselves and if that's way too technical for you like it is for me you could go ahead and use the predefined presets available as well you also get the option to play around with uh, certain effects like the stereo bass the bass gain the stereo gain the surround sound effect the amplitude etc and overall i was pretty amazed looking at the level of uh, granularity this application offers in in making changes to to the overall audio signature and I can definitely see a lot of uh, technical sound enthusiast uh, people liking this application and but for common folks like me and most of the people watching this uh, video right now I think it's it's kind of an overkill it's a little more complicated application it's absolutely functional but complicated that's where effect sound enhancer comes to rescue Now, effect sound is a lightweight application, and it doesn't require a lot of uh, changes to be made on frequencies to begin with. It's a pretty straight process of installation. You could head to the official site, you can download the installer, you can install it. It's a pretty straightforward process. And once you are done, you are greeted with this beautiful and minimal-looking GUI. You of course get the option to change the frequencies when it comes to the bass, the mids, and the highs. and you also get the option to select from different uh, presets available uh, depending on the kind of media you are consuming at the moment and weirdly the general preset which is set by default works the best for me do let me know in the comments if you uh, give it a try what kind of preset uh, you ended up using which what kind of preset you actually like the most do let me know in the comments Now to dive a little deeper, just for fun maybe, uh, let's try to understand how uh, these applications actually end up uh, enhancing the overall uh, sound quality. What they do is they apply parametric equalizer on it, now, along with other equalizers, of course. Uh, so parametric equalizer offers a great level of uh, control over the amplitude over the frequency range over the over the set of effects which are desired in 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 a nutshell parametric equalizer offers a great level of surgical precision over the audio now i've been having some fun with parametric equalizers myself uh, now to just to give you an idea here's the audio sample uh, with and without the parametric equalizer applied onto it
as final thoughts uh, equalizer apu and fx sound are both great applications and the best thing is they are actually totally free you could uh, go ahead with uh, equalizer apu if you need uh, that level of manual control over the audio output that's the application to go for you could you could go ahead and try equalizer apu just for the fun fun maybe uh, to see how frequencies change and what what how how making certain changes to a certain frequencies uh, impacts the overall audio quality just for fun just for education maybe you could go ahead and try it out but for all the other people who don't wish to get into that uh, technical jargon uh, you could go ahead and install fx sound it's a pretty great application pretty simplistic pretty minimal and pretty light on resources and this is one of the most uh, efficient application i've been using since quite some time now that i've used uh, these applications uh, it's pretty difficult for me to actually revert back to the default audio profiler offered by windows so do do give uh, these applications a try do let me know how these applications work out for you and i can't wait to hear from you guys uh, how how your experience with these applications was do let me know in the comment section and yeah that's all for this video i hope you liked it or uh, till we meet again cheers